Hello everyone, my name is Rodrigo. I will be teaching you how to make a quick pixelation animation using Photobooth and iMovie here in the LRC IMAX. First of all, you need to locate Photobooth inside your Applications folder or your dock and you want to open the program. As soon as you open it, you will be able to uh, see whatever the camera is pointing at. Right now it's pointing at myself. We'll be using this little red button here with the camera icon to take a picture. You can also use the command and the letter T on your keyboard at the same time to take a picture. You will see in here a countdown starting from 3 before the picture is taken so you can get ready for your picture. After your picture has been taken you will notice that it is added onto the row just below the camera window. Now I'm going to take about another 14 pictures making sure to change my position slightly in front of the camera for each picture. Just a few more. Perfect. For now I'm only going to be doing 15 pictures. You can do as many as you want, however. If you go to the first one though, and if you use the left and right arrow keys on your keyboard, you can actually scrub through what we just did and watch a kind of quick preview of your animation. It is still not yet an animation though. We need to bring in these pictures into iMovie so that we can actually make an animated movie out of them. This is how we're going to do that. By default, Photoboot saves all your pictures in your user files. When you go to your ABC user or whatever user you're logged in as, there's a folder that says pictures that has a Photoboot folder inside as well. Here you will find all the Photoboot pictures that we just took. What we want to do is open iMovie and bring all these pictures into iMovie. But first we need to create a new project in iMovie. We're going to choose no theme. We're going to call it small pixelation. We're going to choose an aspect ratio of standard. 30 frames per second is fine. And you say create. Perfect. Now go to the finder window where all your pictures are in. You can select them all and just drag them right into the iMovie timeline. It's going to tell me it's adding the stills. Perfect. It added them in the right order because the pictures were named sequentially by the computer. Although when I scrub over them, you can notice there's this weird kind of zooming in and out that happens with each picture. I don't want that in my animation. It makes it look kind of strange. That's because by default, whenever you bring in a picture into iMovie, the program uh, processes an effect on the picture called Ken Burns. It's a type of uh, fake close-up, per se. And you, we want to remove that because it makes the animation look strange. So to remove that, we're going to choose the first one and then press Command A to get all the pictures chosen. There's a little small blue gear on the lower left hand corner of the picture. You want to click that and you want to go to Cropping, Ken Burns and Rotation. Here, you will choose the button that says Fit and then Done. 
that's going to change all the pictures. So now if you scrub over them, you can see that that zooming um, effect is not happening anymore. It looks more like an animation. Although there is still one more thing I need to do before this is actually properly animated. You'll notice that each picture lasts for about four seconds. That is also the default time that iMovie will make a picture last whenever you bring it into iMovie. So that's too long. It actually lasts about an, an entire minute just doing this. And it's not going to look like an animation. It's going to look like still pictures. So I want to change the duration of each picture. And I can do that by clicking in the same small gear. Clip adjustments here. I want to choose 0.2 of a second. So each one will last 0.2 of a second, each picture. When I'm done, I can actually preview it in real time. And it lasts about three seconds in total. It's telling me so here. This is useful because you can actually play around with the timing of your animation. Now it only lasts two and a half. And that is definitely more, it looks like the, what I was looking for. This looks like an animation for sure. Perfect. So now all we need to do is render a small movie out of this. And uh, to do that, we go to share, go to export movie. We want to choose the large size, which is the original size of the pictures. And then you'll, you can also choose whatever, wherever you want to save it. I'm going to save it on the desktop though. And then choose export. It's cooking my movie now. And here it is. Here's the actual finished movie. You can see it by uh, putting it into QuickTime Player. You can see it in real time like that. So that's how you go about making pixelation using Photo Booth and iMovie. And there's, uh, there's some advantages and disadvantages of using this method. Uh, the main disadvantage, I think, is that it, it takes a little bit long in Photo Booth to take each picture when the countdown happens. Uh, when you're doing animation, you definitely want to get a partner or a friend to help you out take the picture so that you don't have to be scrambling uh, to and from the computer every time you take a picture. Also notice that in each picture, whenever I move further and further apart, if the change in distance is large, the animation seems to move faster. If I move, uh, if the distance I move is not that large, or I move a smaller distance, the animation seems to slow down. This is something that you want to take into account whenever it is you're doing the animation, so that you can get the timing properly. And there's all sorts of cool effects and uh, camera tricks that you can do with this sort of uh, animation technique. So that's how you go about doing it. Please make sure you watch the next tutorial about how to use Toki Line Test as a pixelation animation software as well. It might actually work a little bit better and faster for you than this method. Thank you very much.